Hello, YouTube family. I've got just a little something to share with you. For those, um, well, let's just say Christians that you know that um, mm, they're still clean and still eligible for heaven because let's say they have not blasphemed the Holy Spirit yet. Okay, I want you to remind them of Revelation 13, 16, and 17. And he caused it all. I hope, you, I don't know if you can see it in here, but I wanted to show my Bible. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell, that would be the workers, clerks, store clerks, etc., except for he, he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. To get all those details, you'll need to go to bitshoot.com, channel Genie Loves Jesus. All one word, capital J, capital L, capital J, Genie Loves Jesus. Now, um, I just uploaded another video on another subject. Well, it's kind of related. It's a very old document documentary that was, well, let's just say it disappeared, and now it has been revived. Someone shared it on Brighteon, so I shared it on BitChute. And I may get it up on Brighteon later, but it takes so long to upload on BitChute that I thought maybe if I only upload one at a time, it'll go up faster. Although you can still go there now and click on the link because it's not mirrored. I just tell you about it, play a few minutes worth of it. And it involves Ronald Reagan. Can you believe it? He was the first of the kings. Um, you know the part in Daniel, I think it's chapter 7. Uh, I don't want to move my computer to look for it. But it talks about there being seven kings, five have fallen, one is... One will be, or the, and the eighth will remain just a very short while. Okay, Biden is the eighth. That's prophecy. And then the Antichrist takes over. Okay, turns out that it works out that way because Ronald Reagan was the first of the five that were fallen. Can you believe we're actually living out the book of Revelation? It's amazing. Not all of it. Those of us who have been living right, loving Jesus with all our heart, mind, soul, and with all our strength. Are we perfect? No. We repent when we sin. That's the difference. Too many denominations tell people they don't have to repent. Or Calvinists. Oh my goodness. Certain people were predestined to be saved. And if you're one of them, it doesn't matter what you do. You can still go to heaven. No, no, no. John Calvin was wrong and isn't this funny or amazing really Kathy from Grafted In Team Jesus happens to be a direct descendant of one of the families from the Mayflower 
she found out the Christians that started the Christian movement in America were Calvinists. Can you believe it? Yeah. That can't be John Edwards from his preaching. I remember we studied his preaching in college literature. Boy, he was a spitball fire, Holy Spirit fire speaking preacher. <laughs> I don't know why we studied his sermon in college literature too. Lit, lit too. <laughs> Anyway, maybe the teacher just liked that story. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to let you all go, and I hope you have a blessed day. And please check out my BitChute channel, Jeannie Loves Jesus. God bless each and every one of you. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, your devices, and all your internet connections. With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.